Well, happy Saturday, everyone. We are back from the farmer's market. We've been back for just a little while. We went early this morning. I think we left here at 5.30. And I want to show you a few things we got. If you can see back here, I'm in my mud room slash junk room pantry. <laughs> but uh, let's see, we have some cabbage. And these store very well in a cool, dark place. And we have some, let's see, these are the red potatoes. Somewhere, I guess it's back here, we have um, sweet potatoes. And I can't see what I'm showing you. Sweet potatoes. And then we have more potatoes on the bottom, some white potatoes. Let's see. Um, broccoli, and I have got to get this in the fridge, it's under ice right now, and I'm hoping I can wait till Monday to work those up and freeze them. Same thing with the kale, some beautiful kale. Uh, we have a box of oranges and a box of apples. Okay, so let's see if I can show this to you. This is our receipt let me turn on the light so you can see oops wait that light doesn't work hold on oh my goodness okay all right here we are uh, let's see the broccoli for a box of them was $18 cabbage 50 pounds of cabbage was $14. Oh, 50 pounds of red potatoes, $13. The white potatoes was $16. I'm not sure of the poundage on those. Probably 50, 40, 40 or 50. Sweet potatoes, 40 pounds for $12. Okay, it focused better there, I think. And then we went to Raw Farms, which is also at the State Farmer's Market. We went to their building. And that's where we got the apples for $20 for the box, oranges $20, and the kale was $12. So it was a total of $125 for both places that we went. So that was a lot of produce, and it'll last us a few months. And... With the exception of just a few staples, such as rice, I can't even think of anything else. Maybe a little bit more sugar at the end of February and all. I think we're pretty well done. But anyway, uh, check out, see if you have a farmer's market, a state farmer's market. This is through the wholesale market. This is not through the retail market. You can save a whole lot of money. You don't have to be a retailer or a restaurant or anything to do this and it works out really well for us and so I thought I'd share another way that you can save some money um, on your groceries I hope you have a great weekend in the Lord bye